Hi there, this is Vadim Michalenko from Online Training for Everyone. And in this quick video, I would like to share with you how to use latest Microsoft To-Do application in an effective way. Let's suppose that we are working with my team on creating YouTube marketing video for our flagman product. We had a quick meeting and we captured the list of tasks required. Now I would like to add these tasks into To-Do. To do that, I take notes from the meeting which I captured in Notepad and I'm just going to copy and paste one task. To create a new task in To Do, I'm just going to click on Add New Task and just type the name and type the text of the task, which is Record Screencast Video. This is the first task needed on our project. Each task has a properties and you can access those properties by using right mouse click. Now I've added all of my tasks, but as you can see, they are in the wrong order. In fact, they are in the opposite order. What I can do now, I can drag and drop each task and rearrange them. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Michalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant, helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. The biggest problem Microsoft To Do solves is how to be more intentional with your time and priorities. It allows you to create to-do lists for almost anything, for your business, for your home project, or just a list of groceries. In addition to simple to-do lists, it allows you to set daily priorities, plan your time, evaluate your time wasters, get reminders, and this is a technology adapted for you, as to-do works on multiple different platforms. You can access it from the web interface, it's available on any smartphone, and you can download different apps for Android, for Windows, or for iOS by navigating to todo.microsoft.com. In fact, using this URL is an alternative way of accessing Microsoft To-Do application. There are three most important concepts in Microsoft To-Do. Concept of tasks, lists, and my day. Task is the specific unit of work that needs to be done. For example, task might be pay the bill, call support center, anything to that matter that requires your attention. List is a way of grouping and organizing the tasks. And my day is just one of the lists, but very important list because it summarizes everything that you need to complete today. Because all these tasks that I'm working on represent the project, I would like to group them into the list. To do that, all I need to do is just type the name of the list here and hit enter. So now I create the new list. All of my tasks are located under tasks. I wish if I knew before I started, I could have created the list first and then entered all these tasks. But there are alternatives. I can either drag and drop all of my tasks into this list one by one, or the better way to do it, select all the tasks. I'm holding the shift button and using the selection key on the keyboard. And then once I selected all of them, I do right mouse click, select move tasks to, and I can move them into the newly created list. This organizational structure is where power of to do really shines. Now we can work on each individual task. We can add additional steps to the task. We can add task to my day if I'd like to complete it today. I can set some reminders, set due dates, set repetition, pick a category for the task, attach files, and add additional notes. To do that, I select the task and have access to all these additional features in the upper right corner of the application. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. We did create the list for YouTube video project. What are the other smart ways of organizing the data? And what are the other types of lists that you can create? For example, you can create a grocery list and this list would indicate what you need to do when you do shopping. You can add the tasks for today. This is an extremely important category because this defines what you're planning to do today. You can also add regular maintenance tasks, something that you do weekly, monthly, or annually. 
and to do will remind you that you need to complete some of these tasks. This is one of the coolest features. Because you can download and install smartphone app, you will get reminders right on your smartphone, Android or iPhone. Another smart way of grouping might be adding tasks for the projects that you're working on the enterprise. You can also manage your financials and add reminders if you need to pay bills or review your statements or review invoices or do whatever tasks needed. You can also maintain a list for the spouse. What are the other types of lists that you would suggest can be added? Can you please share in the comment section of this video? I have a question for you. Do you have a better way of solving the challenge that was presented in this video? Could you please share your thoughts in the comment section of this video? For example, I might have 10 tasks added into four of my lists. Now I'm planning my day. How can I plan it? I go through my lists and I decide what would I like to do today. For example, I'm working on this project and I would like to do this task, the first task on the project today. To select it for today, I right mouse click on the task and click add it to my day. And you see now it is in my day. I continue going through my list in the beginning of the day and I see that yesterday I added two tasks where my spouse asked for the reminder, register kids for camp and follow up with the classroom teacher. So what I can do, I can also add them to my day today, both of them, and this will allow me to remind my spouse that this is something we wanted to get accomplished. I have a task to follow up on the latest cell phone bill and I am planning to call the provider today. So that's another task I'm going to add to my list. So now take a look at what happened. I still have 10 tasks across my lists, but now I have four tasks in my day. This helps me organize myself and set goals for today because I'm planning to complete all these four tasks today. There are three important steps in planning and organizing of your day. You plan in the beginning of the day and you decide which tasks would you like to complete. You review the tasks and take actions during the day. And then you reflect at the end of the day. For example, at the end of the day, I may take a look at my day's list and I realize that my spouse completed all the tasks and I can mark them as complete. But I only completed one task. I only followed up with the vendor. I wasn't able to make much progress on my marketing video. So what I can do, I can move this task back and remove it from my day. This way, when I plan tomorrow, I can decide if this is something I would like to still complete tomorrow or maybe postpone it until the next day. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. It has been a couple weeks since I started working on this YouTube marketing project and I didn't make any progress. I wasn't able to complete a single task. My boss suggested to delegate it to somebody else so we can start making progress. Let's look at the different delegation considerations and how to do can help there. To be successful at delegating, you need to decide who can do the work. This person, a group of people, need to have the right skills and knowledge to do the work. And you, as initiator of delegation, need to be able to track that they actually doing the work right and the results are acceptable. Even though to do doesn't help you identify resources and doesn't help you to validate their skills, it does exceptional job helping you with tracking of the tasks. I discussed with my boss and we made a decision that we can delegate this work to Patricia. She has all the knowledge needed and can do this work exceptionally well. To do that, I am going to select the list where I have all the tasks and click share button. I am going to create invitation link for Patricia and invite her via email. I can also limit to what Patricia can see and, and access using this manage access button. Now I'm in Patricia's account and I clicked on the link and I'm joining the list. Once I successfully joined the list, I can click the open button. As you can see, Patricia can only see one list that I shared with her and not all of my lists, which provides some security for our ongoing collaboration. Patricia now can do the work and we can exchange information. She can add files required and she can take notes and I will see all of this information when I log in into my to-do. If you're using Microsoft's products in your enterprise, to do can help you with joint planning, delegation of work, monitoring of work, transparency and tracking. Multiple people can work together on the same project to get the work done faster. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. The most typical and recommended uses of Microsoft's to-do application is to track lists, manage simple projects, organize reminders to make sure you remind yourself and don't forget to do anything, agile project execution, where you can plan and do work through delegation, tracking the results, and daily quick accessing of to-do application through Microsoft's Office integration. 
In fact, if you are an Outlook and need to quickly see what are the tasks that you'd like to complete today, you can do it almost instantly by clicking the button here and navigating to your to-do list. You can also access to-do in the upper right corner of Outlook screen by clicking into My Day. Here you can add new tasks and you can manage your calendar as well as plan your day, manage your day and complete your day to make sure you've accomplished everything you plan to accomplish. But companies uh, typically have much bigger problems to solve. Typically you have multiple sources of inputs for your tasks. You get some information using the regular mail, which you need to take into account. You receive some requests via email. You get some tasks and action items based on your own planning. You do some research that requires some work. And you have some ideas of what you would like to execute in the future. With so many different tasks competing for your attention, how can you avoid burnout and get things done? One of the ways we found useful is the combination of technology and using proven methodology. We developed our own methodology and we call it magic of getting results fast. And this is in fact what I'm showing to you on the screen right now. It accounts for multiple different inputs for tasks and in combination with Microsoft's to-do will allow you to get things done fast. This methodology helps you solve multiple challenges. It accounts for multiple inputs for tasks, helps you to prioritize and decide what to do right away and what should be done as a project. It also allows you to plan short and long term. Using combination of Microsoft To Do and proven methodology will help you get things done and organize your work extremely fast and efficient. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.